guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Jennifer and today we're here because we're going to be unboxing my Stitch Fix box for the month of January. So this box was a little bit late. It was supposed to come at the end of December, but it probably was about a week or a week and a half late. So I'm really excited to see what I got for this month. So quickly, if you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it is an online personal styling service. You're going to pay $20 to have a box styled for you. You're going to fill out a style profile and give your measurements and your likes and your dislikes about fashion. And then a stylist is paired with you. He or she is going to choose five items to send to you in your box. And those items can be basically anything. Clothing, shoes, jewelry, purses, accessories, whatever you want. Those items are going to get shipped to you for free and you're going to try them on in the comfort of your own home. You'll decide what you like and what you don't like. If you keep at least one item from your box, then the $20 styling fee does get applied to whatever you're keeping. And if you keep all five items, you're gonna get a 25% discount and you get to apply your $20 styling fee, which makes for a really good deal. I no longer have the styling fee because I was offered the style pass a couple years ago. And so basically the style pass has to be offered to you and you pay a $49 fee for each year to have unlimited fixes. So let's get into my box and see what I have. When you open up your box, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have your package. You have a prepaid mailer bag to return anything that you don't want. So this bag is used to um, make exchanges or send back anything that you don't want. And I love the fact that shipping is free both ways for Stitch Fix. You're going to have an envelope and inside the envelope is your paperwork. This is your price invoice sheet. And it gives you a breakdown of all the different prices of the items and how much it would be with the discount and your styling fee taken off. This is fix number 29 for me. And then the last thing in your envelope is your Oh Hello card. And this has um, some styling suggestions for the items that you're getting. And it also has a note from your stylist. And my stylist is Kara and I've had her the entire time and I feel really lucky to have her. So let's read her note. It says, Seasons greeting, Jennifer, and welcome to the most wonderful time of year. Like I said, this box was late. Hopefully, you and your family are staying safe but enjoying all the holiday joy. With everything going on, it definitely has been lifting our spirits. Yay, another fix that was the perfect mix of business and casual. I'm continuing with the fun mix for fix number 29. Jewel tones are an easy way to start transitioning your wardrobe from fall to winter, which will officially begin soon. The Sarna Lace Detail Blouse is not only going to be a good addition to your work attire, but try it for any holiday get-together. The lace detailing gives you that special touch. You had a few pink clover button detail tops pinned on your Pinterest board, as well as turtlenecks, so I opted for the Kalani top today. Have a great holiday season. Look forward to styling you in the new year. Cheers, Kara. And so the, the note's a little bit late, but that's, that's okay. And this is what my bundle looks like. And I do love jewel tones. I think they're so pretty. So on top, I have the Fortune and Ivy Sarna Lace Detail Mix Material Blouse in dark purple. And so that's this top right here. I love the color. It has some pretty lace detail up here at the shoulders. The sleeves are a little bit sheer. I like that. It has some elastic at the end of the cuff here. It is a mixed material, so it kind of has like that cotton feel on the back and I like the fact that that mixed material is the same as the color on the front so that's really pretty next is by Magnolia Grace the Waldo Gromit detail pullover in black and so it's a thin pullover like a lightweight sweater and it has that grommet detail going down the sleeve it has a ribbed cuff right here at the end very lightweight I like that. Next is by Pink Clover. It is a Kalani button shoulder brush net top in dark gray. And it looks like this. It's got the little button detail at the top. It almost has like a heathered look with a, a gray, but maybe some black mixed in there. That's pretty. It's very soft. It has the turtleneck almost Almost looks like a cow neck, but we'll see. Has like the ribbed cuff at the bottom of the sleeve. Has some of that ribbing down here at the bottom. It also has a slit on the side, so that's cute. Very soft, like pink clover items usually are. 
Next is also by Fortune and Ivy. It is the Raiden Tab Detail Cardigan in Off-White. And I love cardigans because my classroom tends to get cold and hot. So I like to be able to layer and have something that I can put on if it's cold, but to take off it if it's hot. And so it says it's off-white. So it's got like the speckled appearance to go in through it. Looks like the speckles are like a, a tan and a black on a cream. Has this tab detail, I guess that's what they were calling it on the front. It's got this pattern at the bottom, which is like black and gray and cream. So that's cute. I think I like that. Different, not just a plain cardigan. Has a little extra detail. And then I have a pair of pants. Now, last Stitch Fix box, I was able to wear a size eight. I did size up because I have gained a few pounds over the holidays between Thanksgiving and New Year. And so these are the Tribal Fia Bootcut Trouser in black size 10. And they look really long, which is good. But I do love the Tribal um, dress pants because they're that pull-on style and they're super stretchy. So hopefully these will fit. It's a nice basic black dress pant. Looks like it's gonna be long enough, which I'm happy about. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back with the first two items. And on the top I have the Market and Spruce Waldo Grama Detail Pullover in black. And on the bottom I have the Tribal Fia Bootcut Trouser in black. So let's start with the top. It's a very nice, soft, lightweight pullover. I do like the little grommet detail going down the sleeve. The length of the sleeves is really nice. I like that. And it's a very lightweight, soft feeling pullover. I like that. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, so I think this is a keeper. Now the pants, I'm gonna pan down a little bit. The length is great. I have like a 33, 34 inch inseam. And so that's perfect. The problem with the pants is they are really baggy, like right here around the, the crotch area. And so because this brand of pants is super stretchy, I do think I could size down in them and not have any problem. Problem is, is I'm kind of in between like an eight and a 10 right now. And so I hate to size down and it'd be too tight, but these I think I could size down in because of the, the room. But I'm thrilled to have a pair of pants that the length is good for me. So I'm gonna throw on the cardigan and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back with this cardigan over top of that pullover. And so this is a cute cardigan, has good sleeve length. I kind of like the tab detail right here. I think that's what they called it. This is by Fortune and Ivy, the Raiden tab detail cardigan. It's a good length. I do like the, the detail at the bottom. I think this would look great with like black, like it, like I have it right now, but also like gray or different colors underneath of it. It is not super soft. Let's see what it's made of real quick. It is made of 73% polyester, 23% acrylic, and 4% other fiber. Machine wash inside out on coal with light colors, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. So yeah, this is a cute little cardigan. Like I said, I think it goes well with this little black pullover underneath of it. It does put fuzz on the black, so I might wanna choose like a polyester top or something to, to wear it with, but overall, I think it's a cute little cardigan. So you guys tell me what you think. I'll be right back with one of the tops. All right, so I'm back with this next top, and this is the Fortune and Ivy Sarna Lace Detail Mixed Material Top in Dark Purple. And I think the front is like polyester and the back is like that kind of cotton rayon maybe material, but it has a really pretty like V neckline right here. You've got the lace detail on the shoulders. The sleeves are a little bit sheer, but you can't see through them. I like the elastic cuff right here comes down long enough in the front and it is a little bit longer in the back which is nice if you like to cover your bottom like I do. 
Yeah, I think this is really pretty. I like this. What do you guys think? All right, I'll be right back with the turtleneck. All right, guys, I'm back with this last item, and this is the Pink Clover Kalani Button Shoulder Detail Turtleneck. Can't read the whole entire thing, but it's in this gray, and it has like this heathered look. It's got the cute little button detail right here. It is a thin and soft turtleneck, um, so it's lightweight. It comes down long, it's almost like a tunic length. It has a split on the side and it comes longer in the back. Very soft. I like the color. One thing I noticed when I put it on is, do you see that spot right there? Does that look like a stain to you? It kind of stands out to me, so I'm thinking if I keep this, I might want to exchange this top so I don't have this like really dark spot right in the middle. What do you guys think? Like the sleeve length, very soft, cute little turtleneck. All right guys, I'm gonna change and I'll be back to do a recap and to talk about some prices. All right, I'm back to do a recap and to talk about some prices. And overall, I think Kara did a fantastic job. She sent me some really good items that I can wear to work. I'm very hot and sweaty now after trying on all those clothes, but let's talk about the items real quick. The first item on my list is the Fortune and Ivy Raiden Tab Detail Cardigan in Off-White, and this is $50. This is a cute cardigan, but do be aware that it does shed. So like I tried it on over top of that black pullover and it did put like fuzzies on the pullover. So you might wanna pair it with a top that's maybe made out of polyester so that the fuzzies don't stick to the top. So just something to think about, but I think it's a cute cardigan. Next is the Pink Clover Kalani Button Shoulder um, Top in the dark gray and I really like this it's really soft that really dark spot is throwing me off so I think I'm going to try to see if I can just exchange it because it just to me is kind of noticeable on the top and so but if I can exchange it I'm going to exchange this it's soft it's lightweight but very warm and the cost of that was $46 Next was the Market and Spruce Waldo Grommet Detail Pullover in Black, and that was this one. Very nice, lightweight pullover. It's got that cute little detail on it, and this was the most expensive thing at $68. And I think that'd be great with a pair of gray pants, you know, go with any kind of colored pants if you have them. I really liked this Fortune Ivy Sarna Lace Detail Mixed Material Top in Dark Purple. I think I just really love the color. I love the lace detail at the shoulder, and it's stretchy in the back, and it, it just was a really pretty top to me. And that one was $44, and so it was the cheapest item in the box. And then last but not least for the tribal bootcut pants, the length is perfect. I just need to size down to an eight if I can. Like I said, I'm kind of in between sizes. I don't want things too tight, but I don't want them too loose either. And so if I can size down to an eight, I'm gonna be keeping these. And they are $58, which I think is a pretty good price for um, dress pants. And so my stylist pick subtotal was $266. The buy all five discount would give you 25% off, which would take off $66.50. The order subtotal would be $199.50. I don't have any credit right now. Um, so that would be my final cost, which I think is a pretty good deal for a pair of pants, a cardigan, and a couple of tops. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So tell me what you think about the items in my fix. Would you send back the gray turtleneck and exchange it for a new one? I just feel like that spot is just a little bit too noticeable for my liking. Tell me what you think. I am gonna leave my referral link in the description box below. I do have a referral link, I think for $50 that is active right now. So if you're interested in trying Stitch Fix for yourself, click on that link. It's gonna waive your styling fee and it's gonna give you $50 towards anything in your first box. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this. Until next time, bye guys.